Today we are going to be talking all about how to take your rabbit on a long car ride. Cinnabon does not normally eat in the car. Oh, we are grumpy girls. She hates that. Hello, buns. Welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, and welcome back to part two of our How to Road Trip with Your Bunny series. Right now, I am minutes away from hitting the road with Cinnabon. If you haven't watched part one of this series yet, go ahead and click that. I'll link it below. It's all about how I pack and prep to go on a trip, but today we are going to be talking all about how to take your rabbit on a long car ride and how to settle them in to a new space. So little Miss Munchkin here. She has no idea that we're about to go on a five hour car ride. She has no clue. It's a good thing you can't speak English. Let's go. All right, little miss is in her little spot and ready to go. I probably won't keep this open the whole time just for safety, but maybe once we're on the highway and we're chilling, Brian can open this up so we can keep an eye on her. But I always make sure that she is safe and sound. I have her strapped in to the back there and I am going to have her in the back seat since me and Brian are in the front, but we have vents here. I'm gonna make sure we're blowing on her so she doesn't get too hot. Ready for your road trip, sweet pea? She says, no, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit excited. You're doing so good, Joe. You're gonna be so great. Here, let's zip you back in. Okay, it is about 8.20 in the morning and we are gonna hit the road. This is a five hour drive. So on a drive like this, I try to stop one to two times with Cinnabon. I'm usually around the halfway point. That's when I'll try to give her food. If she doesn't take any food, I'll try giving her a little bit of critical care for some nutrients, but hopefully she can just nap and chill. And by the time we get there, we'll have so much left of the day. I really like to arrive at my destination when I travel with her like early in the day so that she has the entire day to adjust. Because usually when we arrive, she's not like, oh, I'm good. Like it takes her a little while to settle. So like the more time you can give to settle the better. I'm waiting on Bryant as always. Let me tell you, I packed the car, made our coffees, got everything ready, and he's still late. Okay, I'm gonna turn off before he sees this. Bye! We have about two hours left of our drive and little miss here has caused mass chaos in her carrier. I mean, she's playing and around, so. She's honestly acting really chill. Her nose isn't wiggling too fast. You don't see the whites in her eyes, but Cinnabon's pretty used to car rides. The first couple times we would go on car rides, she would just like hide in a loaf the whole time, but she's being a very good girl. Let's see if she'll take a snack. <laughs> she says, snack? Snack? She says, can I have that lettuce, mom? Can I have it? But then I tried actually feeding her. Oh, you don't want it? Can you try? Hmm. I thought we'd be excited. All right, so this is actually pretty normal. Cinnabon does not normally eat in the car. She doesn't love it. I thought maybe since she was acting good, she would, but I think I might give her a little bit of critical care since it's been about three hours and it'll be good to show. The reason I give her critical care is critical care is really just like nutrients and water. And since Cinnabon hasn't eaten in a few hours, she's just been sitting in the car. It's a good idea to get a little bit of nutrients in her. And it's a way for you as the owner to feel good about their time in the car, knowing that at least they've eaten something. All right, so I get a little syringe. Let's see if we can do this in her carrier without me getting it all over the place. Come here, boopy. Oh, she hates this. She says, I hate this. Come here, potato. Oh, we are grumpy girls. Come here, we. Oh, we're grumpy. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Good baby, see, it's not that bad. Good girl. She hates that, but it's good for her. It's good for you. Good girl. We are here, we're at the beach house, and before I let little miss out of her carrier, it's sitting over here on the bed. I'm gonna do a really quick little bunny proofing session, so I'll bring y'all along. I also need to set up her litter box, so let's get the room ready for a bun, and then we can let little miss explore and get out of her carrier.
All right, her litter box has been set up. I used her portable pad and I always lay a puppy pad out underneath the litter box as well. This way it's just easier for cleanup and since the litter box is a little smaller, it just picks up any extra mess. But usually when I travel with Cinnabon, we'll put her litter box in the bathroom just to keep the smell of the hay out of the main bedroom and now we're all sharing the same bathroom. <laughs> also, I always close the toilet bowl because you never know if Cinnabon will get curious and want to jump in. So make sure to close your toilet bowl if you're ever letting your bunny in your bathroom. So Cinnabon is settling into her new space. I don't expect her to really be eating or pooping too much since we just got here. Usually it takes her about an hour or two to just sniff and get used to everything, but she's playing, exploring. For me, a mobile bunny is a happy bunny. As long as she is hopping around, she is healthy and good to go. She's just checking it out. But I put some forage over there on her little snuffle mat for later and her water is filled, plus she has a chew toy. Two hours later. The most important thing you wanna monitor for with your rabbit is for them to eat, drink, and poop within a few hours of you arriving at your destination. Cinnabon has found her way to her snuffle mat and is munching on the flowers. She already had some water and she even went and pooped in her litter box. Not a lot, but it's something. So I think with that, I'm feeling really good and she is settling in nicely. Now, if your rabbit isn't eating, something you can do is a treat test. So I pack some treats and it's just a good way to like see if their appetite is here. And again, don't worry if it's just been like a couple minutes since getting to your destination. But after like an hour or two, if your bunny still hasn't eaten, maybe try pulling out the big guns. And typically if they're feeling okay, they're gonna go for the treat. Amy? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here's something fun that's happening. Because we're in a new spot, um, she's pooping not in her litter box. So I need to move this poop into her litter box. I will say another thing that I look for with poop is it's not uncommon for after traveling for a while if their poop is a little smaller, not their normal size, just because their environment has changed. But I would just say after a day, if their poop hasn't returned to normal, maybe try syringe feeding them some critical care or water to make sure that everything's moving fine. But I'm gonna move this to her litter box so that she knows that's where she needs to go to the bathroom. Update, moving the poop worked. Cinnabon just came in here and ate some hay. And then look, she pooped more. So she was like, oh, that's where my litter box is. Usually once I show her where it is and move all of her poop to where she's supposed to go. She follows suit pretty quickly. Okay, buns, that is where I'm going to close this video. I hope you enjoyed this two-part how to travel with your bunny series, and I hope that it was helpful. Traveling with a bunny can be very, very stressful, but I hope that with these tips, you are able to travel, take your rabbit on a road trip, and just feel really comfortable with the entire experience from start to finish. If you're wondering what we got up to while we were at the beach, make sure you watch the vlog that we posted last Wednesday all about what we did. It was a nice little fun time, and I had way too much fun editing that Outer Banks themed intro. So make sure you check it out if you haven't. I hope you are having a wonderful Sunday or whatever day it is that you're watching this video and we will see you in our next one. Bye buns.